guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here please like comment share and subscribe we are dropping some good content i'm trying to push out more content um like i said in the previous video that's one of my like 20 like 2021 goals is to you know take this a little bit more seriously and push out some more youtube videos so if you like videos such as this one and other videos that i put out in the past please like comment share subscribe because uh, man many more videos will be dropping so as you can see in the title down below today we are going to be doing a day in the life of a nail tech so basically i'm just this is just going to be a regular vlog i just wanted to you know start a little intro about what we're going to be doing so i'm just going to be showing you my everyday like what i do um how i clean my utensils what i do um before my client comes how i get everything together and things of that nature so if you are you know interested in seeing that and seeing what i do um stay tuned let's just get right into it okay so first thing that i like to do before i do anything is i remove everything from my desk and i just sanitize it like you know you have a little bit of dust on your desk and things like that so i just like to remove everything so i'm just gonna take literally all my stuff off the desk for now You know it's corona time and i just want to be you know as safe as possible and i just want to ensure my clients that you know we keep it clean over here so first thing i use is some clorox because i mean cl clorox clorox and just spray this down and just let it sit for a little bit I have some gloves over here, so. I hurt my finger, so it hurts to put these gloves on. We are not playing with Corona this year. I mean, in the new year. So I'm going to make sure I sanitize everything. Like, even my chair. Like, I wipe down my chair. Got all these wires. So, here's my... You can see my client's chair. Here's my client's chair right here. So, I just like to spray that down, too. I just spray that down. I'm trying to set y'all up so y'all can see me, but <clears throat> spray that down and just wipe that down. And then I also got some some disinfectant spray and I just spray everything so we spray it spray my chair too and let that sit and then also like what I also like to do is I take my light because you know hands a lot of hands go in this light a lot of hands go in this light so I just take ooh, I just take some wipes and clean it all out these ones are from Amazon. I just wipe down the top. The buttons on the back. And the inside. And I like to keep my ring light on the desk. So 
I just put a paper towel here and put my ring light right there. And then I'm just going to put everything back on the desk after I clean it. So here's my lamp. I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. Nothing special, you know. It gets the job done. And then I have my drill. This is the Melody Susie drill. It's small, but it gets the job done. And then I have this big contraption right here. Um, this is what I record my, my nail videos on. Um, it is very sturdy. It's very, it gets the job done. This is a very, very good um, stand. If you want to record like cooking videos or anything like that, you should get this stand. It does run for like one something. It's a little expensive, but it will get the job done, you know. I tried like all the other cheap ones and it just it just wasn't doing it for me and this like extends up and down out like however you want it it's, it's the best all right so about a few things that I keep on my desk um I always keep like my um my top coats on the desk so it's just like easy to get to and I also leave my primer this is the young nose primer on the desk as well and um some base gel that's it like i have so many top coats <laughs> so i just leave it on the desk Oops. and then i also leave uh, my monomer on the desk as well right here so it's easy to get to and that's really all that i leave on my desk like I don't leave too much stuff because I don't like it to be, you know, like too cluttered or too much stuff going going on. So next, after everything is clean and sanitized and good, I like to um, just set up for my client. So today I only have one client. I did have two clients, but my other client had to reschedule, which is fine. So we're just going to set up for that one client. And it's Saturday, so one client, you know, I get to do whatever I need to do for the rest of the day. Christmas is right around the corner, so, you know, I can to get that all together so we need to get some gifts and stuff like that so um that's fine so next let me show y'all let me show y'all what i have over here one second yeah y'all this is going to be unedited like i just really want y'all to see like what i really really do All right, let me just show y'all first. So here is where I keep everything. Like all my nail stuff, everything that I need, polishes on the first shelf, um, my acrylics on the second shelf, and then all my nail tips and, you know, like my nail, my everything like, um, I can't even speak today. Um, what are they called? <laughs> Rhinestones, my glitters, like everything you need to like decorate and everything that is here. And then on the bottom shelf is all my sanitized stuff. So, like, all my sprays. I have my barbicide down there. And then over here, I keep some extra monomers as well. So, my client is getting, um, what is she getting? She's getting some crocodile nails. I never did crocodile nails before, but I'm so excited to do crocodile nails. Because they look so good, like, on Instagram and stuff. So over here, you know, I have like some flowers, some rhinestones, and things like that. And I just keep them over here out the way. You know, it's easy to grab. And, you know, I love that everything is out and open and I can just grab it. Also, like my clients sit right here so they can easily see like everything I have. They're like, oh, like what color is that? Like, oh, like can I try that one? So like they have a good eyes view of everything I have. So I like that about uh, my setup. So, like I said, she's getting the crocodile nails, but I think she's getting them pretty long. So, I might use the extra long nail tips, but I'm not sure. If not, I'm just going to leave these out. These are the McCart nail tips. So, I'm probably just going to leave these out on the desk. And then, I just get my, um, I don't think she's getting an acrylic, um, colored acrylic. I think she's using um, regular polish. So, I just get my clear out because I just think we're doing uh, like a regular full set with gel polish. So, I usually use either the clear 
for uh, my hot nail. What are they called? I can never get the name right. Hot tips. Mon um, not monomer. Um, hot tips acrylic powder, which is almost done. It's so good. It's so good. I think they were just trying it out at first. That's why it's in this um container. They were just like trying out their acrylic powders at the time, but now they have a whole collection of acrylic powders. Um, so it's almost done. I actually need to re up on it, but this is some good acrylic powder. Like it applies, um, it applies like butter. Like it's so smooth. Like it's really really good. So, I leave that out. Um, my mom's calling me. She know I'm making a YouTube video. Why call me? But, um, I don't know what color she's getting. So, since I don't know what color she's getting, this is what I do. So, I just leave my, um, my swatches out. She can just pick her color. My swatches is right here. I don't know if you can see it. Right here. So I just place them here, right here on the desk where she can see all of them. And she can pick her color. She's not getting, I'm just gonna put this one back. This is uh, marble, she's not getting marble so I just put that one back. And yeah, that's basically the setup. Um, I also just plug in my drill so I have that going. I just plug in my drill so she's ready. I'm gonna plug her in and plug in my lamp. I also like to light a candle when I'm doing that because you know the, the monomer smell is crazy, but as time goes by, I get used to it. Um, but I like to light a candle, you know smell good down here you know get the vibe going but yeah that's basically just the setup like that's just everything that i leave on the desk let me show y'all a little closer view so you know the lamp i'm gonna record her nails so got that going um the swatches the light and then the tips and um the powders actually i forgot some things that i also leave leave out as well <clears throat> so i have a drawer right here so i like to get my um let me zoom in for y'all if i can i don't think i can yeah no i like to get my nail file out i also like to get my kds nail glue out like i want everything out so i don't have to be rummaging through anything um nail glue um yeah. and then i use i get my straight edge nail clipper this gives her nails a long we cut them down and that's a and then um to cut the nails if she wants them shorter you need that out as well and that's it let me do a little unboxing i got a package i know it's nail related but I'm not sure what it is. You know what? We just want to take it upstairs for us because we can't open it right now. All right. So next, I have all my utensils in this little cute barbicide jar. It's small, but it gets the job done. All my tools fit in it. So I am just, um, my mom's still calling me. I'm recording a YouTube video, mom. Hold on. So I'm going to take you guys upstairs with me and show you how I sanitize, you know, rinse them off and things like that. Okay guys, so next we are going to clean our utensils. This is full of barbicide and it has like my, my um, nail bits in here, my cuticle pusher and a nail clipper. So I just pour off the barbicide. And then I just take everything one by one and just rinse it off. With hot water, like this is really hot water. So, you know, any germs that's on it gets killed off. Then I just sit here on a clean paper towel. The winner is 
is really, really high. So I'm going to turn off any this on the utensil. And then I just rinse out my barbicide jar, some hot water as well. And then I just fill, let me turn the water off. I just fill the barbicide jar up um, with water in the meantime, up into that line. And then once I go back downstairs, I'm gonna put a little bit of barbicide in here and then it's ready for the next time. So next, I'm just going to dry off all the utensils, make sure to dry. Um, and these have been sitting in the barbicide for a few hours, so they're clean now. I didn't just put them in there or anything, they've been sitting there. Just dry everything off. So everything is clean and dry now. And then I just put everything in my clean nail tools um, took away. Everything just goes in here. Like I have some stuff in here already that's been cleaned. Um, I don't really use this stuff, but you know, just backups just in case of emergencies. And close it and then now we're ready for our next client. And that's all I do. Um, my utensils sit in the barbershop for a few hours, so they're clean, you know. Any germs that's on there gets cleaned off because, you know, it's corona. So, be safe and sorry. Um, and that's it. And then we're ready to go back downstairs and set everything else up. And right over here, since we're vlogging, we have my mom and my dad. They're eating breakfast right now. I told them to be quiet. <laughs> while i vlog but yeah so that's all that i do um when i'm cleaning my utensils and we're ready to go back downstairs